Hi, this is Eric Davis from LittleStream Software. I'm going to show you how you can add a Git repository to Redmine so it will show up in the repository browser. Redmine will not work with a remote repository, so first you need to make a local clone of the repository. I'm using the bare option here, that way the files aren't checked out onto the local file system. I'm assuming on your Redmine server, it's a server, no one's actually using it to write code so you don't need the local copy checked out, so you still need to edit files. If you do, say for instance you're running Redmine on your laptop or something, you can take off the bare option and that way you have a copy of all the files checked out. So now that the repository is cloned, you need to add it to Redmine. In the project settings, there's a repository tab, and there you can select the git as the SCM option and put the file system path to the directory you cloned. Since I used the bare option, the .git directory is the same directory I cloned it to. If you didn't use the bare option, so it's a normal repo, just add a forward slash dot git at the end of it. It's pretty easy to figure out. Finally, you'll need to load the repository module once in order to import the data. This can take a long time depending on how large your repository is. A uh, good thing to do is just run it once, let it go for a little bit, and then come back and check on it. The code is written in such a way that if the data fails loading halfway through, it doesn't have to start over, it starts from the halfway point. And then as the Git repository changes, you'll need to update the local clone too. The easiest way is to use a cron job and to run git pull for the repository. This example here just CDs into where the clone would be and runs git pull every hour. Um, you can do other things with git hooks or whatever. Uh, there's a lot more advanced stuff, but this is kind of the most basic one that'll get you going. So that's how you can set up a Git repository so it's shown in Redmine's repository module. It's pretty simple. The biggest thing is just make sure to get a local copy on your server. It cannot work remotely. That wraps up this screencast. This video is just one video in my Redmine series. If you go to theadmin.org forward slash videos, then I'll send you the entire series for free. Thanks again for watching.